to stuff some peppers today. And um, actually, this is a, a meatloaf mix. Uh, it's manic meatloaf. It's one of my very favorite recipes, and it's, it's super simple. Um, I will show you exactly what I've got here. And in it, we've got some yummy uh, ground grass-fed beef. We have cumin, we have garlic, we have uh, thyme, oregano, a little bit of half and half, a little bit of nutmeg, uh, ketchup, or in our case, we use spaghetti sauce because I was out of ketchup. And basically just put the whole mess together. And you, you're supposed to use breadcrumbs and of course two eggs. I will tell you right now though, we used instead of the breadcrumbs, we used almond meal. And almond meal is a great stand-in, so that way you can do it for your gluten-free friends or your friends who are doing a paleo type of a diet. And this makes a delicious uh, meatloaf like nobody's business. A little salt and pepper, of course you put salt and pepper on everything. So we are going to use these lovely, gorgeous, aren't they pretty? All these, look at the color on these, these bell peppers. But um, I'm gonna show you how to get the top off, which is, is really fairly simple. You just kind of cut all the way around, like so, and then pull it off like this. And th this will get you most of the seeds. The other thing you need to know is that these little ribs are bitter. So all you have to do is just pull them off with your hand. Get rid of the ribs and get rid of the seeds. And then at the very end you'll see, oh, well, I've got a couple of seeds there. No problem. And now you don't. See? Just give it a little whack. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, now that we've got all of these, we're going to use this gigantic muffin pan to hold our little friends, the bell peppers. Once they're filled, they get kind of, you know, they have uneven uh, bottoms. The, the nature grew these. These are not something that are manufactured by hostess. So <laughs> they are not going to be even on the bottom for the most part. And even though they stand up kind of nice, when they start to cook, they start to collapse and they just kind of go everywhere and you don't want that. So this is how you um, get around that. And we're gonna fill them up and put them in this pan. Oops. Yep, put them in the pan and then look. Bake them just like that. So, show you. You take your meatloaf mixture, which I like. Some people like to add rice. And you just put a little bit in it. And one thing, you don't want to stuff it too full. You just let them cook. Super simple. Give it a little plop. Two tablespoons should do. Two big tablespoons, maybe three, like this one. And then they go into the oven. And again, we're looking at about a 400, 375, 400 degree oven. And you want to cook it all the way. We're looking at about 40 minutes or so, depending on how big your bell pepper is and how much you've got it stuffed. But it's super simple and so delicious and tasty. Now, when they're done, you can put a little bit of spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce on the very top when they're almost done. I don't... Some people like to do it right away. I don't. I like to cook them like this and then about halfway through, I'll put a little um, tomato sauce on the top. You can serve it with rice. You can serve it plain and simple like this with tons of green veggies on the side and enjoy the heck out of it. This is so delicious. And that's it. I mean, it's super easy. You can also do these in the crock pot, but I find my favorite way, and in the crock pot, they'll kind of support each other because they'll all be jammed in there standing up. But honestly, my favorite way is to do them just like this because they, they have a tendency to cook nice and even. There's no places um, that aren't getting even um, heat on and they're not being held up with others and they cook all the way around very nicely. See, isn't that pretty? Isn't that simple and easy? And mm -hmm. I'd say that these are a lot better for you than regular muffins. So go for it, go for this. This is what your muffin pans can do for you from now on.